Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're hailing from. Welcome to episode zero of KBE Insider. Uh, we're here to meet the cast and crew of Kubernetes by Example Insider, a new show we're starting up here on OpenShift TV. I am Chris Short. I'm a CNCF ambassador, Kubernetes contributor, and I'm here with some of my friends, uh, one of them being a face you see often on OpenShift TV. That would be Langdon White. Langdon, how are you today? Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, yeah, it's um, this is kind of an unusual kind of concept for us to do, but uh, we thought it was really important to kind of give everyone a feeling of what we had in mind with what this new show is. Um, you know, we actually kind of did it with the Level Up Hour. We did our first episode, was kind of was like, what are we doing here? Mm -hmm. um, but seeing as there were two people who saw that, uh, it probably was not as cool as having something recorded so people can go back and reference and understand what our, our goals are in the kind of interviews we plan to do and that kind of stuff. So I'm Langdon White, along with Chris, we're going to be the co-host of the show. Um, and we're going to hand it off to the kind of the inspiration behind the show, uh, you know, and, and kind of why the show is happening uh, in general. And uh, that's Gordon Tillmore. Wow, the inspiration behind the show. I've never had there an intro know. like that before. That's pretty pretty nice. I, hi, guys. Um, and yeah, it's a pleasure to be here. I, I, I don't know if I'm going to call it inspiration. It's called producer. How about that? So co-producer even. Um, but yes, Gordon Tillmore. Uh, hail from, from Raleigh, North Carolina. I am involved with this show as I've been involved with Langdon and Chris on, on the Level Up Hour, as they mentioned as well, um, which is fun. So I'm glad that we're reuniting here for, for this you even appeared as well. Level Up Hour at one point, I believe. You know, it's a highlight. I, it's, it's something I will always treasure. But yes, glad to be back here and involved in this as well. So maybe over to Stu. Stu, you want to do an intro? Th th thanks, Gordon. Hi, Stu Miniman. Uh, yeah, first time I get to be called kind of a co-producer uh, of a show after uh, way too much time in front of a camera. Uh, something that, you know, those of us that have done it, it always wonder how did I end up in front of a camera so much, but uh, super excited, you know, love the community. Uh, always see so many people. How do I get involved? There's so many new people coming into it. So this kind of activity, we're super excited to help people get involved and we're going to talk about KBE and inside and uh, yeah, excited to be a part of it and always love helping to pull the right people in and share the message. Then last but definitely not least, Mina. No. Hi everyone, I'm Mina, can I imagine I'm the news desk editor. I uh, very recently have been starting to work on the KB Insider show and I'm really, really excited to be working with this team um, and I'm really excited to see where this show goes. Wonderful, it's great to have you on board for this. So KBE, Kubernetes by example, you know, we're, we realize that there's a lot of people out there just getting started with Kubernetes. Um, but I mean, we, you can look at the metrics from recent KubeCons and realize that there's a lot of people going to KubeCon for the first time, literally every event. I think the last one was over 60% first timers. So a lot of people getting their hands dirty with Kubernetes. But where do you get started? How do you get started? And that's kind of the impetus behind this show is making an on-ramp to getting involved more with Kubernetes and helping you learn the, the components and all the knobs and dials that come with a container orchestrator and the cloud native environment and ecosystem around it. Yeah, and I, I would like to point out like, and this is what we were going to talk about with the kind of KBE component is like the insider show is just one aspect of kind of a, a kind of a, I hate to use the word curriculum, but like a, a kind of an overall like concept or idea where we want to help you kind of get connected into the Kubernetes ecosystem. And one of those things is kind of knowing where it's going. And that's a little bit of the focus of the show. But all the rest of the stuff is really, really useful around like kind of getting you connected to the community in the first place. So I was going to hand it to like Gordon or Stu. I'm not sure who you want to take it, um, but kind of talk about the you know the new website and the stuff that sure. we're around. Uh, you know, kind of all the other aspects. Yeah, I can I can tackle that, Stu. I'll start at least. Feel free to interject, of course. But yeah, Kubernetes by example. So it's 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 new, but it's not new. That's the fun thing about it. it it's been around mm -hmm. since 2017, um, and we've seen quite a bit of traffic to it. Uh, we've seen. You know, gosh, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears went into creating some really kind of first-rate content with with the site. 
But I think a lot of us over the years recognized and looked at it and said, we can do more with this. We can really grow this and enhance this. Um, and so I got passionate about it. A lot of people got passionate about it and, and we've done that, right? So that's what, I mean, exactly your point, right? That's what we're kind of seeing with this next iteration. Man, we've got all kinds of plans going forward too for, for all kinds of future iterations, right? But I think for me personally, it, my, my, I think enthusiasm for this all started because of my background. And, and you know, I, I, I kind of cut my teeth in technology with, with IT training. I started, I'm gonna sound old now, I'll put on the old blockers, but you know, I, I started in technology in the 90s with, with IT training. And so that's kind of been my bread and butter. I've been, I've been outside of that realm for a while now, but you know, I recognized early on, and a lot of us recognized early on, just how important training is to everything, right? Because sure, for an individual, training is you know, a career. It, it helps them advance. It helps them you know, get the next position and the, and the better salary, yada, yada. But for organizations, it, it really, domain expertise is, is so, such a crucial ingredient. And let's be honest, I think a lot of times with, with education, it's just, I won't call it an afterthought, but it's, it's oftentimes an afterthought, right? It's that budget item that's the first to get trimmed, it's something needs to get trimmed, it's, it's the soft skills that people kind of expect and, oh yeah, they've got that, let's move on, right? But it can't be that, right? And especially when we're talking about Kubernetes and we're talking about all these great technologies, I mean, what, what is technology without that knowledge? It's, it's bits and bytes, it's zeros and ones, right? So I think that's why I'm so enthusiastic about this whole, you know, Kubernetes by example, but in particular this show, right? Because, you know, when you talk about training, when you talk about education, it's, it's this knowledge share, that's what powers innovation, right? And that's where I'm excited about all of this. Yeah, yeah so I'll, I'll, I'll build on that, Gordon. So uh, it, it's funny, you know, Chris mentioned how many new people are coming to the community. Earlier this month, Kubernetes is now seven years old. And some people will be like, wow, seven years old. And there's certain technologies that you're like, it's amazing how far it's come, but there's still so many people getting involved. So we look at you know, the, the site, Kubernetes by example, and this show, KB Insider, will really play well together. Kubernetes by example, get your hands on, learn by doing it, not just talking about it in the buzzword and oh my gosh, let me do Kubernetes the hard way, there's too much things to do. We wanna help basically the Velvet Rope, come on in, be part of the community, the show here, we're gonna bring on some, some great people, show you where it's going, help you understand that you can get involved. You know, these are the people that are, you know, running some of the community activities, running some of the events, contributing on GitHub. We'll, we'll talk about some of the guests we're having, but there's a great opportunity to get involved and, and skill yourself up. We all know in our careers, you need to constantly be learning. Uh, KBE is a great starting point and will help connect you with the community and the other places to go. It's not here to be a certification. It's all free. It's all community based. So a little bit different than some of this out there. And we just saw a need out there to help, you know, fill a little bit of a gap and, you know, be, be, be part and give back to this community here. So I wanted to kind of add to that, which is that, you know, when we were kind of developing the the show and the, you know, kind of this launch, right, of this, uh, you know, program or whatever you want to call it, um, the, you know, one of the things I pushed really hard for is that, you know, there's there's two things that I think are are missed a lot of the time in kind of training, right? Which is um, one is like if you don't understand the philosophy behind whatever the thing is that you're trying to interact with, you it, you're going to have a really hard time extrapolating beyond the training. So, you know, it's like, if you don't know what, you know, Python's goals are, just knowing the language and knowing the libraries isn't really enough to be able to extrapolate from there. So what we want to do with kind of the insider show is give you some of that knowledge about, you know, what's going on out there. But there's more than that. Um, in, in particular, with open source projects in particular, you have a community that you also need to kind of become a part of for both for like help and to give back to the community and to try to, uh, you know, you know, help the things you want to see succeed, succeed, you know, all these things that you got to be part of that community. It happens with proprietary software too. It's less obvious a lot of the time, but it's also really important there as well. But with open source software, it's obviously even more important. So what I, the reason I'm kind of commenting on that is why 
the you know this idea this concept behind the kbe is that yes you there's things to learn but then there's the rest of it as well and that's really why mina is involved too is to try to give some of that color of the community that's going on with her news program or you know sorry not program like tv but program like concept um and with the news things that she wants to bring to the table and give you more of a sense of what's going on out there so you can have a holistic picture of what's going on with kubernetes yeah, right. exactly. With uh, with KBE News, we really want to supplement the curriculum that is on the website, um, almost content that reflects different views and different points of view out there. So basically content that gets our readers to think outside of, outside of the box when they think of Kubernetes. We almost want KBE News to be a page where people come, they get up-to-date information on what's happening in the world of Kubernetes, and honestly hear from different thought leaders in the space as well, opinion pieces, um, things that are going on that maybe you're not aware of. So uh, we just want it to be an all encompassing holistic uh, page where you can come take take classes, take lessons, and also uh, supplement that with some um, with some real world examples, real world and uh, real world information. Yeah, I mean, this technology is changing so fast, right? You know, I mean, you gotta kind yeah. of stay up to, to date with this. So that what better Absolutely. place? Yeah. Absolutely. And Langan, just back to a point you made a moment ago, um, Wow, right? So I, I think you nailed it when, when you said about KBE Insider and the direction with the show. Uh, you, look at, you look at the curriculum that we have on the site, which is you know, really deep and as, as Stu said, is you know, a lot of different learning paths and will continue to grow as we move forward. But that's the how and that's the what, right? Whereas, whereas KBE Insider, Langman, you said it, right? It's the why. I mean, why are we doing this? Why are we going in this direction? What, what is this all about? That's where we can bring in these these luminaries and and these these folks in, in Kubernetes that you know, right, and that 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 can really speak to it and provide that why. So that's why it's really exciting and cool. And we, you know, we've seen instances, you know, we being the Kubernetes community of in the past where, you know, some things have been announced that didn't quite sit well with the way they were announced. So providing color around things like the Docker shim deprecation or PSP deprecation, how it's not like a, oh my gosh, stop everything and fix this kind of scenario, right? Like things cycle in and out of the Kubernetes project all the time, right? So like keeping you up to date, having that continuous learning piece in your back pocket is something that has always benefited me in my life and career. So spreading the love, as it were, with others is something that I take to heart. So that is very much what KBE Insider is all about. Yeah. And I mean, I think we have we have big plans for like bringing even just the stuff we've talked about to the table. Right. Um, but we also want to engage with you as we build an audience and build a community of our own to some extent or, or augment really the K Kubernetes community with any luck. Um, and so, and start to get your impressions of, you know, kind of what do you feel like is going on? You know, do you think that this particular project is going to make it out of incubation? You know, uh, you know, if you just go and look at the CNCF site, right, it's like just the laundry list of projects and the various states they're in. We can't keep track of all of that ever, right? Neither, no, any individual could, right? So we also want a community around this. We want people to participate so that we can all benefit from how we're all working together and we all want to move this thing forward um, and also look at, you know, some of the new and different ideas. This is goes back to you know, kind of that, how do we get more diversity into software? Well, this is part of the reason, right? Is because we all come from different perspectives, from different backgrounds and everything else. And we see different things, you know, whether, whether they're all true, they're just different perspectives that actually let you see those different components. So we can't, as a, as a group of, you know, a small group of people, no matter how big a group it is, um, you know, even if it was all of Red Hat, right, that's still a small group of people in the grand scheme of things. Um, and so we can't see it all. So we want to participate with the rest of you to figure out how can we move this forward? How can we get Kubernetes to be what we all want it to be um, and not leave anything behind? Yeah, and I, I guess it makes sense to, you know, how do they engage? Uh, so the show itself, 
uh, the, the first place, of course, you, you're coming to Kubernetes by example, kubernetesbyexample.com. Uh, the, the live streaming show will be there as well as the shows on demand. If you come to watch them live, plan right now is the last Tuesday of every month, 10 a.m. Eastern, and you, you, you go to the video, you'll see when it's streaming, uh, all the streaming shows that are put out here, there's usually ways to uh, be able to communicate and ask questions and they will be live. So when we bring in the great guests, so episode one, happy to be able to say, we've got somebody that the community, com Kubernetes community should know really well, Clayton Coleman. Uh, you've seen him speak, speak at KubeCon. Uh, he, 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 his GitHub activity, uh, of course, is, is really rampant and really excited to be able to have him, someone that, you know, I talked for many years about the early days of Kubernetes and where it's going. So uh, super excited to hear Chris and Langdon dig in with him. And then every month we'll be bringing more people. We want you to come participate during the event, stop by and see all the news, and then let us know who do you want to see on it? What feedback do you have? Uh, so you come uh, come regularly. Uh, I, I can share one that we have uh, coming on down the road. Sally O'Malley uh, will be scheduled. Uh, if you haven't heard her, she once again speaks at KubeCon, spoken at OpenShift Commons, talks about things like OCI and container security, uh, and is, is very active. So once again, not necessarily, you know, people that it's like, oh my gosh, they're the biggest on social. They're the people that are involved in the communities, running activities and, and getting their hands on because that's why you're coming to KBE is to help learn by doing. So we, we think that these people will help reinforce that. And as Langdon said, as things go on, we are looking for more ways to engage for you to be able to get involved in the lessons. So look for more cool stuff coming on down the road uh, as we expand beyond just the monthly show itself. And I wanted to highlight one of the things that you said there, which is that, you know, there, there's a rare, very, very rare breed of people who are not only, you know, exceptional public speakers, but also exceptional software developers, um, for example, or documentation authors or whatever, like, usually you have an expertise, right? And it's not usual that you have multiple expertises that you are incredibly good at. Um, and so what we're trying to capture is the people who may not be uh, you know, kind of all over, as you said, right, social media or all over, uh, you know, the news or whatever, but they are, in fact, the leaders of a lot of the projects that are happening, you know, or the people who are just having a huge impact on the things underneath. And the way and we're bringing our expertise of kind of knowing who all those people are, or at least being able to track them down, right, because they change over time, um, and bringing them to you so that you can hear from those people when you may not have otherwise, um, you know, and uh, so like, I am really excited to have, you know, Clayton and Sally, um, and a whole mess of other people who like, I go and talk to them for, you know, a 10 minute quick question. And two hours later, now I know everything there is no about like control planes with <laughs> Kubernetes, right? Like it's really interesting stuff because they're fascinating about how far they're thinking ahead on the problem that we're all facing, but maybe aren't, you know, in the position to have a big effect on. Right. And the things that I'm looking forward to are, you know, those, those late breaking things that are like, Hey, this just happened in the community and Mina's going to deliver it to us as part of, you know, her role in the show that I think is going to be super helpful to everybody, right? Like if you just tune into that part of the show, you will gain tremendous knowledge, right? But the rest of the show too will help you understand some of the why and what behind what's going on in the Kubernetes ecosystem. And I say ecosystem because just having an orchestrator isn't enough these days. We all know that, right? Like we need other tooling around it. We need things like container registries and they need to be secure and the policies and procedures around all that has to be in place. The sky's the limit here, folks. So hang on tight. That's true. And, and I know we're coming up close to the end here, but I, I can say that, you know, one of the things I'm excited about too is, is really just the whole element that look, people, people learn and consume information in different ways. Right, and, and it's, you know, it can be old school reading text, it can be visiting news, it can be, you know, watching somebody talk, it can be doing the interactive lab itself, right? Mm -hmm. That's what KVE brings together. And it brings it together in a community manner, right? I mean, it, it's not just one company, it's, it's not just one group of people, 
we're pulling from across the Kubernetes community. And that's what I'm really excited about. And with KVE Insider, it just offers up that, that complement, right? That interactive element that allows you guys to become the, the viewers, to become insiders, frankly. You know, join us and, and become an insider, right? Listen to, to what the, the guys and, and the gals in the trenches know and do and, and learn more and learn why. And we're, we're all really excited about this, that's for sure. Absolutely. So with that, I would like to say thank you everyone here for participating today and uh, looking forward to seeing you out there in the not too distant future. Stay tuned.